Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for our daily Oracle and Tarot card reading. And today's reading will be for Tuesday, May 23rd. We're using the very beautiful Mary Queen of Angels Oracle cards by Doreen Virtue. And let's get started with the reading. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message you need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. And we have patience. We have Jesus. And we have optimism. Okay, so we have patience. Okay, we have this beautiful unicorn. And it's enclosed within this fencing here. And there's all these flowers and beautiful nature surrounding it. And it says, I trust in divine timing. Patience was one of the hardest lessons I've had to learn in life. And I think that I've had obstacles and situations put on my path to teach me this. Okay. We all want everything and we want it now. We want today's stuff yesterday. There's so much impatience in this world. But like I always say, when you force something that doesn't seem to be happening or working, maybe it's not for your highest good. Maybe that's why it's that much of a struggle. If you're patient, it's all in divine timing. So say, for example, it's a relationship. You want to meet someone and you want to meet them now. Well, maybe the person that's meant for you is in a relationship right now. And that needs to end or dissolve before that person is available. Maybe that job that you want so bad that's going to bring in extra money and help you pay your bills and make life easier. Well, maybe that job isn't available yet. Maybe somebody has to vacate that position. Okay. It's all in divine timing and divine order. So whatever it is that you're waiting for, be patient. It will happen if it's for your highest good. If it's not for your highest good, then it won't. But try not to force things. Just step back a bit and allow things to unfold. And Jesus. And it says, I pray for Jesus' help and guidance with the situation. And I pray on a daily basis. Okay. Usually at night. Okay, after the, the day is done and I review everything that's gone on and, and, and what's been happening. When I pray, I feel such a sense of peace. When I surrender whatever it is, okay, I feel such a sense of peace. The power of prayer is amazing. A lot of people overlook it. I don't know why. Uh, but this is telling you whatever it is, okay, Whatever it is, you will be guided and you will be helped. You'll be saying a little prayer about it. you know. And you don't have to keep repeating the same request and praying about the same thing over and over. Believe me, it is heard when you put that out there. But maybe saying a prayer today about what it is you want to change and you will be guided. And optimism. I expect good things to happen and they do. And again, it's about thinking positively. But we need to back it up with positive action. Okay, we can't just be optimistic about something and sit around and wait for it to happen just because we're thinking it's going to happen. Positive thoughts, positive action. Okay, and being optimistic doesn't mean that we're in denial. Okay, but we choose not to um, think negatively and, and bring more negative energy towards us, which is going to make it even harder to achieve what we're doing. This card is telling you. You know, expect good things to happen. So something good is going to happen. But you got to believe that it can and that it will. If you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel because I will be back.